Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Mr. Fleming here to say welcome back to learning, and I hope you've had a, you know, as good of a break as you can, and I know it's going to be a little bit of a transition, you know, going back to school after almost four weeks, and also, you know, everything has kind of changed here. Obviously, I'm not in front of you in class. I'm talking to you through video. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of adjustment for both you and, and I. But the most important thing is to make sure that you're doing okay, uh, that you're taking care of yourself, taking care of your family, and that, um, you know, I'm here to support you, to help you, and to get the learning that you can get out of this, given the situation. There are challenges, right? I mean, like obviously just working through this platform is different. The good news is, is that I have been doing my master's in educational technology, and so, and I teach computers, um, and so, you know, this isn't, shouldn't be too big of a challenge for me, um, but I know for you, uh, this is going to be, it's, it's, you know, fundamentally different than probably how you've learned before. Um, and so we're just going to have to make the best of it. And uh, I understand, you know, that some of us might have technology challenges, time challenges, all these other things that are going on in your life. Um, and maybe this isn't going to be your focus. And I completely understand. Okay. So just keep the lines of communication open with me and, and we can work things out. Um, you can hear my kids in the background, right? That's what's going to be happening a lot of the time. Now, one good thing is you guys have all experienced an LMS, and that is a learning management system, and that is Edmodo. Um, I'm going to move away from Edmodo. Um, Teams, to my surprise, <laughs> uh, is, is, seems to be as good as, um, in some ways, better than, than Edmodo. Um, there's some differences since we did the first assignment. You're learning about those differences, and I'm learning about them as well. So as we go through, you know, the first couple weeks, you know, things are going to be sort of, you know, testing the waters, see how it goes. They'll be learning on both sides. All I ask for you is your patience and for you guys to be reasonable and, you know, act mature on this platform because it isn't, you know, Snapchat. It isn't, you know, <laughs> whatever else you're using. Friendster, anybody use Friendster still? MySpace, MySpace, no, okay, right? You don't, uh, it's a different platform and we just have to learn how to behave in that platform. Um, now, in terms of learning overall, you know, you're looking probably, you know, teachers have been told an hour to an hour and a half a week. So you're looking at eight to 12 hours of learning. Um, and I highly suggest that you schedule some time. You put an hour and a half, you know, I mean, so if you're looking over five days, right? 12 hours, let's say, you're looking at maybe, you know, an hour and a half, two hours, two and a half hours uh, a day that you should sort of schedule into your time. So I would set aside a bit of time. Keeping a little bit of a schedule is gonna help you out. I mean, the easiest thing to do is just let things slide, you know, and, um, you know, as a, as a student, right, if I don't have a schedule, if I don't have to have things done at a certain time, it can be a bit of a challenge to get things done. So I'm asking you to try to create a bit of a schedule. If you need some help or if you need some advice, you know, let me know and I can do my best to sort of help you out. Because I've learned as a, um, you know, as a, a student as well during my master's recently, it's not always easy to say, hey, I got to get this done and, uh, you know, set aside that time. So, you know, if you want some advice or you need some help doing that, let me know and I can try to help you out as best I can. But I would highly take, you know, take a day and say, okay, you know, maybe in the morning, do an hour, hour and a half, work on this subject this morning, you know, in the afternoon, do an hour, hour and a half. And before you know it, right, you'll be up and you'll be working on things, getting things done, and then you'll be able to schedule other things in your day, okay? It's kind of the hardest thing. I had a girlfriend uh, in grade 12, I know it's hard to believe, uh, but, you know, she said the most, this sort of thing that stuck with me, and I guess this is, you know, 25 years, she said to me that if you want something done, you give it to a busy person. Because those, that busy person is going to have a schedule, they're going to prioritize, they're going to get things done. When you don't have anything to do, um, you know, things just sort of put, put on the back burner and you don't get things done. So just try to get, uh, you know, try to put a little schedule there together. Um, mentioned it before, the other big thing is to make sure you communicate with me. If you're struggling, if you're having problems, I'm going to do my best uh, to communicate with you. But, you know, there are 200 of you. Um, spread across, like I'm teaching eight different courses. It is a little bit of a challenge. Um, I can't just sort of walk in and, and teach you now, right? I've got to do a little bit more in terms of prep, in terms of getting the lesson there. Um, you know, it, it is a bit of a challenge to make sure that all 200 of you are, you know, are, are doing what you need to do. 
And so if you're having challenges, you're having problems, you know, you can contact me through Teams. Um, there's a private sort of, you know, so you don't have to public post it publicly. You can, you can, you know, find me and uh, uh, talk with me personally. If you can't figure out how to do that, just email me, okay? Um, if you can't do that, you know how to do it through Edmodo. I'll still check Edmodo there. You can do it that way, okay? But the key thing is, is to try to talk to me, okay? Uh, just send me a quick message, hey, Mr. Fleming, you know, I can't get this done this week, you know, or, you know, I need some help. Let me know. Um, you know, I'm, I'm flexible. I'm willing to help you. I'm here to help you. That's my job. Um, that's what I want to do, right? I'm, I'm all here for you. Um, and so that's, that's my, my goal, okay? In the end, you know, let's just make this as best that we can, okay? I'm, like I said, this is a challenge for everybody, but there's some opportunity here. Um, you know, I'm, I'm gonna help you out, teach you some lessons. I'm gonna always give you a little bit of a, hey, if you wanna go on and learn a little bit more, here's some opportunities. Because it is a, it is a sort of, you know, in some ways it's, it's really restrictive in what we can do, but for other people, you know, there are some opportunities there that can open up. And so I'm always willing there to, to help you out. If you've got extra questions, you say, hey, Mr. Fleming, could I do something like this? Could you help me out with it? More than likely, I'll do my best. <laughs> I will always do my best to help you out if I can. I'm not taking any courses at the moment. I finished my last, well, not my last two, but the last two that I was taking, I'm done. I've only got one more. That starts in the middle of May. So I do have a bit more free time, although I am spending a bit of time trying to teach my kids as well. Um, and, and hopefully that they're getting, they're learning a few things as well here. All right, so please take care of yourself, take care of your families, you know, try to learn, try to follow along with what I'm gonna teach you here. Be open with your communication. Let me know if you're having problems. Let me know if you think I could do something better, okay? Uh, give me feedback, that's what I'm here for, okay? Great, I'm gonna talk about our uh, specific lessons for each class, but that was my sort of overview there, and uh, let's get going. Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. Um, for Game Coding Level 2, uh, you guys are sort of, you know, already working on stuff on your own. Now, one thing that's a bit of an issue is that some of you have games at school. And um, unfortunately, there's no easy way for me to get in and get those games. Although I can probably do so. There's no easy way, but there is a way. Um, they're trying to avoid us going into the school as well. But um, I know I can sort of link my computer up, uh, you see even sitting outside the school, and be able to grab your game, okay? So what I'm going to do is, in, in the assignment this week, there is a, um, a document there that I'd like you to fill out, um, and then that will discuss, or that will um, ask you um, if you want me to grab your game, okay? And if you know the file name of it, or the name of the folder, uh, that would be useful because it probably will take a little bit of time for me to download it, but hopefully it isn't too big. And then my idea is that I would put it onto my OneDrive and then give you access to that. You can download it at home. Okay. Now that's the other thing is that I'm assuming is that you're going to have access to Unity. Okay. Most of you I know do. Um, if that's a problem, you can let me know in that PDF or sorry, that uh, uh, response as well. Um, now, Having said that, um, you know, there's there's a few things that we can do. One is you can continue with the game that you were making. Um, for some of you, I know already that's what you want to do. For others of you, maybe say, okay, let me let me start something fresh. Um, and that's perfectly fine. One of the good things, if there's good things coming out of this um, pandemic, uh, is that um, Unity has provided their premium lessons for free. And so, if you're interested in that, um, you can certainly just head off to uh, unity.com slash learn, I think, and um, there's the premium stuff, you just have to log in, and then you have access to it. Now there's a series of, of lessons there that, um, and the, the name escapes me at the moment, but I put on there, it's, it's like the C-sharp code, um, sort of shortcut to learning or something like that, um, and I, I'll put that into the, the notes there. And um, that might be something that's really good. Uh, I think I'm going to do it myself. Um, and what I there's little challenges for each one, and just working through those might be great. Um, the other thing is is then sort of working through those and then adding those features or possible coding ideas to your game. Um, and I think that would work out really well. 
Now there's a bunch of other um, stuff out there too. Plural Sight, uh, which I think I've, I sent a link to you already, but again, I will put that link in there, has stuff available, okay? Um, and, and those resources are there for you. So basically how it's gonna work is, um, this week I want you to either let me know that you want me to get your game, and I'll do my best to get that within this week, early next week, depending on when you send that in. Um, the second thing will be um, what your plans are. So if you can give me a little bit of an idea, and then basically, you know, it will be a check-in once a week. Just let me know where you are. So just a five, 10 minute little update um, that you could write out, maybe show me some screenshots. In terms of helping you out, um, I believe that I can at least see your screen. We can, we can share screens. Um, and I think I can also remote control using Teams onto your screen. We might have to, that may or may not be true. We'll work that out. Because obviously to help you and I need to be looking at your code and you need to be changing it. And sometimes it's easy if I, easier if I just sort of look at it. So we'll, we'll see how that goes, right? That's going to be the challenge uh, more so because I know with code, I really have to think about it and look at it to help you out. Um, and just sort of, if you just explain it to me in an email, um, it takes you a long time to do that. And it's not always 100% clear. So yeah, we will work it out. Um, so please look through that uh, sort of response that I'm gonna put into the assignment there and uh, respond to it as quickly as you can. And then, like I said, we'll just be working week to week. What you get done, you get done. You know, I would recommend an hour to an hour and a half working on your game, um, you know, making some progress there. Um, if you wanna do more, that's great, but that's not a, an expectation. And I understand that for some of you, you know, you've got other issues and other time pressures, and it is a little bit more of a challenge but, you know, just giving me that honest one, one hour to one and a half hours a week is really all I'm looking for. All right. So let me know if you've got any questions. Um, and I appreciate all your hard work and your efforts. And uh, I'll do my best to, uh, to, to teach you and uh, encourage you to keep working there um, as we move forward. All right. We'll talk to you later.